United States Air Force has just added another victory in the Pacific, rendering the Japanese airfields of Bougainville and the Solomon Islands virtually useless. Constant bombardment by heavy and medium bombers over the heavily outfitted stronghold of Rebald kept the Japanese busy while B-24s and B-25s bombarded Tobera Field and other important Japanese-occupied ports and airfields. Three Japanese merchant vessels, many smaller ships, ammunition dumps, and hundreds of Japanese aircraft were destroyed in the heavy bombing over the Solomon Islands as the United States Air Force as a monumental victory against the Japanese in the Pacific. More at the end of the hour. Dear Mom, Being the rookie, we're getting a lot of the remedial duties like cleaning the latrines and cleaning up the mess hall, but I don't really mind that. The hardest part is waiting for the chance to prove myself. I know it's going to take time, but you know me, I always wanted to be a part of the action. As for the place itself, the other guys tell me not to get used to it. They'll be moving on pretty soon. But you'd love it here. This is the first time I've ever seen or tasted salt water. All the hundredth guys give me crap for that. And you wouldn't even think that this was the middle of a war zone. It's, it's like paradise compared to the deserts in Arizona. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing well back at home. I don't know when I'll be able to send this, but either way, I'll keep writing. Tell Dad and Sis that I miss them. Love you. Michael. March 28th. Dear Mom, it seems as if the 34th company is finally accepting us. Okay, so that's exaggerating a little bit, but this is the first time they actually join us on our leave. I guess it makes sense since we're going to be moving north toward the line. I think the 34th is getting used to the fact that they're stuck with us and that it's for the best that they treat us with some respect. After all, their lives are literally in our hands and vice versa. I can't tell if I'm more excited or scared, but at least we're finally moving. Love you, Michael. April 3rd. Dear Mom, I've gotten to know a lot of the PFCs in my company, and let me tell you, we all believe we're making a difference. The pride we feel is incredible. If anything, these guys are the closest to brothers that I've ever had. We watch out for each other, and we give our lives for each other in an instant. I guess I'm telling you this so you know that I have people watching out for me. I know I'm in good hands. Sometimes I think they're babysitting me, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's better them than the enemy. Love you, Michael.
April 23rd. Dear Mom, I have no regrets about joining. It's been hard, but here, the color of your skin doesn't matter. I've seen white soldiers from the deep south with generations of hatred toward people of color put out their hands in thanks, as well as generals putting in their time and effort so us Nisei boys get the credit that we're due. It's almost like this is the way it's supposed to be, and it proves exactly why we're here. If we can change the opinions and hate of a bunch of stubborn soldiers, imagine what we can do for the country. The guys here learn quickly that when your life is on the line, color doesn't save it or take it away. Character does. No matter what happens, knowing that I'm trying to prove this, trying to prove that I am just as proud, if not more, for my country, well, that's the greatest thing that I can do. You watch, Mom. Things are going to be different when I get back. There's going to be some big changes. We're doing something incredible here. I'll be home soon. I love you. Michael.